Well, good morning, everyone. It, uh, it's a real pleasure to be able to uh, receive the new Foreign Minister of Canada, uh, Melanie Jolie, here in Washington at the State Department. I'm so glad we were able to, uh, to get together so quickly. We spoke on the phone just a few days ago, and I'm really grateful to Melanie for coming uh, here so quickly. We have um, uh, a lot of work to do. We have our, uh, our leaders getting together uh, next week for the uh, North American Leaders Summit, as well as a meeting uh, between Prime Minister Trudeau and, and, and President Biden, so we're going to spend some time working on that. Uh, but uh, let me simply say that we have no closer friend, no closer partner in the world uh, than Canada. And virtually everything uh, that we're doing, that we're engaged in, uh, we're, we're doing it together. Uh, and so we have, <laughs> we have the world uh, that we're, we're looking at together. Um, but um, I'm just so grateful uh, to have you here. Uh, je suis vraiment très content de pouvoir uh, vous voir uh, si rapidement et de pouvoir commencer notre travail uh, en commun. Bienvenue. Uh, merci, merci parce qu'on a beaucoup de travail. Effectivement. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Tony, for uh, this uh, warm welcome of yours. It's a, it's a pleasure for me to be with you and to be in Washington. I wanted to make sure, as the new Foreign Affairs Minister for Canada, to, to come here as my first. Uh, visit and, and my first visit, my first trip outside of Canada since COVID. Ah, so, <laughs> uh, at the same time, obviously, uh, as uh, Minister in, in, in Canadian Cabinet, I wanted to make sure that we reaffirm the importance of our friendship with the US. Uh, this historic friendship is one that we have to take care of and uh, that we must work on. Uh, in that context, it will be a pleasure for me to address some key issues, definitely making sure that we can continue to collaborate to fight climate change, uh, to really also address uh, the importance of uh, fighting for democracies and protecting also uh, our democratic institutions and, and, and values. And of course, since we have so many of our economic ties, uh, that uh, really uh, is, is making sure that we're uh, united, we need to make sure that we reinforce our supply chains uh, as, of course, we are reopening bit by bit our border. Uh, 